Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually back with our ICBM submarine. As you guys can see, this thing has missiles, it also has a sonar decoys right here. It also has some little cargo doors on the back. This one of course needs to be painted, but that's okay, and that is awesome. Now a few of you guys have been saying I need some sort of defensive mechanism, like a gun or torpedoes and honestly i'm thinking torpedoes are the way to go i don't think a gun will fit on this uh at least like um aesthetically so uh we're gonna go with some torpedoes anyway uh i'm gonna go ahead and find some on the workshop and we're gonna go ahead and slot them into this thing now i'm not gonna do it normally i'm not gonna have them fire out the front i'm actually gonna have them fire out of the side i know that seems strange but that's what we're gonna do anyway let's go ahead and get on with it shall we Okay, so this is the torpedo. It was built by, I believe, Morley Man, but I'm not actually entirely sure. That was a different torpedo that I did attempt to use, but uh, I think it's a little bit old. Uh, and it doesn't really work as well as you'd hope it did. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and grab all of this. We're also going to grab it all the way up to there. And this is our torpedo. Let's go ahead and cut it. We're then going to go ahead and load up our submarine. Hold on, where is it? There it is. And we're actually going to go ahead and see how big it is compared to our sub. Now, it is actually quite large, I'm not going to lie. Um, but let's go ahead and try and put it into the position where it's going to be, which is around here. Uh, and this is where it will go, which seems a little bit strange, but hopefully it works. Anyway, let's go ahead and actually paste this in straight away. And um, we'll see if we can get it working. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, start working on this then. So from there, all the way backwards to about here is where we need it. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and drop it all the way down the side, and we're going to go ahead and cut it like this. There we go. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and paste that bit back on, which is fine. And I need some sort of way of opening this uh, so that we can use it. With that being said, I'm also going to go ahead and box this off uh, so that it doesn't uh, sink the entire ship once this is opened. So I'm going to go ahead and fix all of this together as well, all the way across the bottom, all the way at the end. And there we go. We should be good. Uh, the only problem I see with this is that we actually have the hatch right here to the front, and we won't be able to use that hatch anymore. But honestly, that's okay. We can leave it as is. Um, so, we have the torpedo thingamabobby right here. Let's go and delete this guy right here. Delete this guy right here, and get ourselves some pivots. Yes! Uh, we'll actually get them in this color, which is like red, I suppose. Uh, and smash it on there. Go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Smash it on there. Merge this guy together with this guy. There we go. And then, I guess... We just have to make it open, and then I guess it'll work. So, let's get ourselves a throttle lever. Here we go. Attach it onto the top of there like so, uh, and then send it down. Here we go. Attach this guy to this guy, and also to this guy. Okay. Uh, we're then going to give them guys some electricity. Here we go. Down to there, and up to there. Let's see if this will work. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this real quick. It is opening up, as you guys can see. We then need some sort of slider. Uh, to poke out of this in order to actually send this outside to be able to fire it. Um, this is a very strange way of doing it, but I think it's kind of cool. Okay, so actually, the way that I'm thinking about this right now, we need to re-grab this submarine, uh, this submarine, this torpedo, here we go. So all the way down to there, all the way to the rear, like so. We're going to go ahead and actually cut this. Let's move it out to the side really quickly. How do I roll it over to the left? It's not J. Uh, is it L? Uh, yes, I think that might be correct. There we go. So, uh, no, press L again. I think that's only flipping it like... I don't know what that's doing. Okay, O. No, P. I. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, guys. Okay, uh... Da, 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 da. Okay, where even is... Where is the hard point on this? I've lost it. I have actually lost it. Oh, it's because it's there. That's why. I was like, this is so confusing. And uh, I didn't know where the thing was. But that's okay. So if we can, we're going to go ahead and move this up. We're then going to go ahead and cut it again. There we go. And if I can, I want to have the hard point on the side. There we go. So if we can, let's move this back into here. Just like this. There we go. Paste that little bit right there. That's fine. And then essentially, we're going to go ahead and have a little bit of a bulge on the side. Let's go ahead and do this guy uh, in red. There we go. Kind of like this. Get ourselves a hard point. This guy right here to go on there like so. 
and then go ahead and do this guy on the back like that. There we go. So what this allows us to do is to actually launch the torpedo from the inside from here. So if we go to launch, let's go ahead and have this on one for right now. There we go. And open it up using this guy and that'll be fine. So let's get ourselves a throttle lever. And uh, I guess whack it in here for right now. This should, this should be okay. So go ahead and put that right there. Okay, good. Attach this guy to both there and there. Give these guys electricity. Give this guy electricity. And go. Okay, so in order to actually fire the torpedoes then, let's go ahead and get into this. There we go. Go ahead and press or do this so it opens up the side door. Which it isn't doing. It's actually the opposite. So I think it's minus one that we need. Uh, which is fine. We could totally do that. Give me a second. Da -da 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 -da. Minus one and zero. There we go. And uh, it should work now. So we just got to open up the door and then fire it. Okie dokie. They are fire and forget. So as soon as this torpedo leaves, we just ignore it. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and do... Turn that on. Do this. No, the... Oh yeah. No, it is actually working. There we go. It is slowly opening up. Okay, it's struggling like crazy, but it is doing it. There we go. And then we fire it with one. Off it goes. And then we obviously close this back up because we don't need it open anymore. And voila. There we go. Kind of interesting. I think it works. So uh, let's go ahead and have uh, build another one. Okay, so what we need to do then is to actually take this side and essentially put it on the other side. So let's go ahead and lift this up to there. There we go. Good. We're going to go ahead and send it out to here, and I believe, I believe that is everything that we need, maybe. I believe that's everything we need, so let's go ahead and copy it, press U, take it to the other side. There we go, paste it in there like that, go ahead and merge these to the places they need to be merged to. So that piece to there, that piece to there, I believe this bit all needs adding to there as well. So let's go ahead and do this, there we go, and um, that should be good, I think. I think that'll be fine. I'm not entirely sure, but I think so. Uh, so, let's go ahead and connect this to these two. There we go. Give this guy um, the ability to open using this and this, and then we should be good to go. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and put this number on two so that we can fire that one. And there we go. Okay, torpedo doors are opening slowly but surely on both sides. There we go. They are attached, which is awesome. Uh, they are a little bit slow to open because they do get a little bit stuck. Uh, and maybe I should raise the torpedoes in order for that to work a little bit better. But this is fine. Hopefully it uh, sorts itself out very soon. Otherwise, yeah, we might have some big old issues. Might have some big old issues already anyway. Um, yeah, this ain't it. This ain't it. I'm just going to go ahead and launch them anyway. There we go. So this one seems to have closed. I don't know what's going on there. But the other one, completely fine. Okay, so just to fix that little issue right there, all we got to do is grab this guy right here, go to the front, grab this guy as well. There we go. Go to the outside, which is just to here. Go ahead and cut all of this, move it upwards by one, paste it back there, and replace this guy down the side. There we go. Okay, then we have to do the same thing on the other side. So send it across. There we go. Bring it down one. Go ahead and cut everything right here. Bring it upwards by one. Paste it back in. Merge these guys together. There we go. And send this guy all the way across as well. Doesn't actually have to be part of the door, but there you go. Should work now. Okay, so if you like that, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, good. Go ahead and do this. And they should open up perfectly this time. There does appear to be a bit of an issue on this side. Oh. Ah. This one appears to be getting stuck anyway, but I don't know what's going on with this side. I, I probably didn't merge it, uh, which makes sense. There we go. So merge these guys. There we go. So now that actually works. Okay, these guys are fine. Um, is it just the door getting stuck now? I'm not entirely sure. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Really quickly down the edge. There we go. And that hasn't done it on both sides, but I am going to do it on both sides. So delete this all the way down to there. It might just be that the torpedo doesn't want to come out that way, which is fine. You know, we can we can sort of leave it as is, but I think this will be okay. So now we go ahead and we get inside. Okay, we go ahead and push this button. There we go. We press this as well. 
And then we go, I guess. So open up the doors. They are still getting stuck a little bit. They are definitely still getting stuck a little bit. Those guys aren't actually connected either. I don't know what's going on there, but on this side, there is... There's bits of it that aren't connected together. This bit right here isn't actually connected to this, which seems like a huge issue, actually. So we're going to go ahead and do that. The other thing is, I'm actually going to go ahead and make these guys as fast as possible. Uh, so that it hopefully shocks it into opening quicker. There we go, do that as well. And do this bit as well. There we go. So, yeah. Anyway, if you're wondering why I'm sending them out of the side, it is because the front of this isn't really shaped uh, in the right way to actually have torpedo tubes. At least not the way I would want them anyway. We've built it a little bit differently. But that's okay, because side launched still will work, hopefully. Uh, and that'll be good. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think it would be the doors that I had the most issues with, but I seem to have the most issues with the doors. Also, they seem to be inverted now. I don't know what's going on, honestly. I have no idea. Uh, I feel like they are now going the wrong direction, which makes zero sense. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and do this and see if this now works. I'm very confused. I am extremely confused. Okay, push this button. Go ahead and do this. And now they are actually going in inwards. I don't get it. I, I genuinely don't understand, because if we go the wrong way, we go the right way, it doesn't actually matter. Uh, so that's weird. But anyway, let's go and delete this guy. Get ourselves a switch box really quickly. This guy right here, and I'm just going to place it in this room. It doesn't really matter. So there you go. I'm going to put a switch box right there. This is then going to attach down to here and here. And here and here. And then we should be able to attach this to, let's say, three uh, in order to open it up. Anyway, opening it up is on value, minus one. Let's go ahead and see if it works. Okay, dokily, let's sit in this little seat. Go ahead and press three. There we go. It does actually open up that side. That side, for some reason, isn't opening up. I don't know why. But this one opens up fully and uh, actually closes as well. The other side, however, nothing. I don't get it. I actually don't get it. Torpedo launched. Go ahead and press three again. Closes the door. I've accidentally launched this one on this side now. Uh, but yeah, the one on the right isn't working. Why not? The one on the right isn't working. That's these ones. So we've got our speed. Okay, we've got our gear ratio. Uh, speed and gear ratio. Does it have electricity is the uh, other thing. No. Okay, that's why it's not working. There we go. I mean, it's always easy to find out once, once you have something like that happen. But there you go. Didn't have any electricity, so that's why it wasn't working. But now we have torpedoes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set up one of our submarines out here, which uh, once it gets hit, it will explode and absolutely annihilate uh, itself. So we're going to have that underwater. We're going to go ahead and have it be static. We're going to have it keep active, and uh, that'll be fine. So go ahead and put that in. We're then going to go ahead and launch a torpedo and see if we can hit it, I guess. So let's go underneath. Turn on the lights again. Yes, go ahead and open this up. Press this button. Go ahead and press 3. Which opens up the doors. There we go. Go ahead and press 1. That has fired a torpedo. Okay. Let's go ahead and follow it out there and see what we can see. There's the submarine. I can see the torpedo coming. Here it is. Oh, it only just missed. But it did, it did track its position, which is interesting. It just missed. Yikes. Okay, so the other thing that I actually wouldn't mind doing as well is actually launching all of these. There we go. Uh, turning on stuff in here as well. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and turn on the sonar as well. Can't seem to turn that on. Don't know why, but let's go ahead and do infinite electricity. There we go. So that'll start pinging. And radar as well, so that starts pinging as well. Just... What? Why? How has that even happened? <laughs> How... <laughs> How and why has that even happened? Okay, well, we've been rammed by a Kraken. Uh, I don't know what's happened with this either. This is flipped over itself. I don't know how that's happened. Maybe the Kraken got this one too. Um, that's strange. <laughs> the Kraken is attacking my submarine. Anyway, let's get back inside and see if we can launch some more, uh, more, more torpedoes. Here we go. So let's do this. Do this. Press three. Okay, something is banging. Why is this happening? This one on this side has gone inwards rather than outwards. Are they actually inverted to each other? I don't know whether they are. I don't think they should be. 
But maybe they are. Oh, no, I guess they are. Okay, right. We need another switch box. This guy's going to go here, and the value on this one is going to be minus one. No, just one. No. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. So if we attach this to three, and we attach this to this side. No, to... Yeah, to this side. We should be good. Okay, so let's try that again, shall we? Go ahead and press three. Okay, both sides have opened. Go ahead and launch torpedo. There we go, it is going. Go ahead and launch another torpedo and close the doors. There we go, they are out of here. Very nice. Let's go ahead and move our way forwards. There's the submarine. Torpedo coming in. Aha, so that locked onto the radar there, which is interesting. Uh, and that one has not locked onto it. Oh, I think it might have locked onto the other torpedo. That's probably what just happened. Interesting, uh, but they do actually hit things as you guys just seen right there, which is pretty awesome And I'm really happy with it. So you just sort of point it in the right direction Fire it off and it should hit what you are aiming at which is good. So um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and leave this video here for now I will link down below the actual torpedoes that I've used and uh, you guys can check them out in the next one I think I'm gonna add a bit of a cone to the propeller as I said in the last video just to make it look a little bit more modern and uh, we'll probably do some testing and then we'll let it go. Anyway, for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Okay, I wanted to check out why, uh, why it was sometimes working and why it sometimes wasn't working. Essentially, these guys are uh, in opposite directions, so that is why it doesn't work properly. Um, this guy obviously is trying to turn it one way and that guy is trying to turn it the other way, which uh, obviously doesn't work. So, I'm going to quickly change that, and uh, hopefully it'll be good now. Let's go ahead and flip this around. There you go, so now they're both face inwards. Go ahead and merge this guy with this guy. Go to the other side and see if that's correct. Yes, it is. Merge this guy with this guy. And now we shouldn't have all of the issues that we actually had before. Let's go ahead and delete this guy real quick, and add one switch box instead. Uh, and then we should be good to go. So give this, there we go. Go ahead and put this on here like so. That's fine. Attach this to three, which is also okay. Um, and I was thinking we could actually add more torpedoes to this. We obviously have a lot of side space, so we could probably add more. But for now, let's go ahead and leave these guys like this. There we go. It's a very strange setup, but it will work. And I am happy with it. There you go. Attach those guys there. Do this one and this one. And actually make sure this is on one or the other way. I don't know whether it should be the other way. I'm not sure. Anyway, they're all connected. So let's go ahead and see if this works. Okay, it turns out it is minus one that we needed, and that is it. Okay, right, cool. So, uh, thank you guys very much for watching yet again. I, I had to say it twice because I, I wanted to put this in here so you guys know what I was doing. Um, but yes, uh, it is now hopefully fixed. Let's go ahead and have a little quick check. Turn the lights on real quick. Go ahead and press three, and they should fold out. There we go. Fantastic. Anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Goodbye.